Say what you want. He did it. Say what you want. He did it. Tom Aspinall went out there and defeated Sergey Pavlovich, the big bad man of the heavyweight division. Honestly, Tom Aspinall is my favorite heavyweight. Him, I like really like him. I really like Sirogan as well. But I feel like when I seen Tom Aspinall fight for the first time, bro, I'm like, Tom Aspinall, his his boxing is just clean. Now Sergey is is a powerhouse. Now did I personally rule out the chance of Sergey knocking Aspinall out? No, because at the end of the day, this is heavyweight boxing. I mean, anything can happen, right? But we have a fighter like Sergey, very powerful boxer. And then you have Aspinall, a clean boxer. And tell me, if on paper, usually that clean boxer would win. But sometimes the power does get there. I mean, it's just MMA. And, you know, the gloves are much smaller and stuff like that. But Tom Aspinall winning there on short notice. If you guys didn't know, Pavlovich was the backup fighter. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Pavlovich was the backup fighter to John Jones versus Stipe Miocic. Aspinall came off the couch with it. And he went out there, took a chance, and completely knocked this man into another planet. With a one, two, simple one, two. And I'm so happy for Tom Aspinall. I really am. I really am. And I want to get you guys' opinion on the fight. What did you think? Who did you have? Now, when it came to Vegas odds, Tom Aspinall was actually the favorite. But when it came to, I feel like, the MMA community, a lot of people had Pavlovich. Now, rightfully so, I mean, dude, I'm telling you, he hits like a Mack truck, right? He hits like a Mack truck. But I believe the quote is, precision beats power and time beats speed. If I'm right, please let me know. Because I could be completely wrong with that quote. And Tom Aspinall timing and his precision on that one-two was like, disgusting it really was bro it really was now he's in a weird spot right now that basically john jones is going to fight steep eight regardless i'm gonna be honest bro can y'all tell me which one of y'all want to see steep eight fight john jones i'm sorry i don't care about seeing steep Bay fight john jones it, it and some of y'all may be like oh you disrespecting steep Bay. steep Bay time has come and passed his last win was against DC. And how long has DC been retired? You know what I mean? So I don't really... He quit. <laughs> I'm going to keep talking. I'm going to just find me another fight. I don't really feel like making that fight is the one. Like, I understand it is a... when it, On paper, it's, you know, arguably the greatest heavyweight of, of UFC history, Stipe. Versus John Jones, you know, the, the people call him the greatest of all time. Right? But it's like, Steve Bay's like 41, 42. Much past than what he could have been. Well, I mean, what he has been. I ain't going to say what he could have been because he's a, a champion, respectfully. Arguably. I mean, I mean, honestly, it's not even an arguable. He's the greatest heavyweight of all time. Currently. Oh, no, I don't want to go Stipe. But I don't think he should be fighting Stipe. Stipe, well, John Jones dropped out. Stipe did not want to step up and fight for an inter, for the intern, rightfully so. I mean, I can't be mad at him doing so. But Tom Aspinall stepped up and did it. So here's where your question, like, Tom, what did you do with Tom Aspinall? Did you just have him wait? Wait a year? Like, because is John Jones going to fight again? I don't. If John Jones beats Stipe, it's over with. <laughs> if he beats Stipe, it's over with. 
John Jones ain't. I don't think John Jones is fighting again. He's going to walk off into the sunset with Stipe. And guess what Stipe is going to do? Walk off into the sunset with that loss. Because Stipe is not going to deserve another title shot. Respectfully, he doesn't deserve this one. So, now that puts Tom Aspinall in a, in a weird spot. And it makes me, what's the point of the interim belt if you're still going to make that fight? I, I know what it is. It's selling it. it, it it's it's selling it. it. Dana White selling it. And I respect it. You know what I mean? But it's like, come on, dog. Tom Aspinall should 100% be getting that shot. And it's and honestly, it's John Jones' moment to show that I'm still better than these younger guys. Now, he beat Cyril Gaon. I mean, he took that man to school. But Tom Aspinall is like... I'm not going to be like, oh, he's better. John, I, I'm not going to discredit John Jones' win whatsoever. He went in there and and made Cyril Gunn look like he didn't belong there. But if we're talking about overall MMA ability, I would put Tom Aspinall over Cyril Gunn. So now John Jones, you know, we, we, we know Cyril Gunn has a weakness to the wrestling. That he has to work on. Or he continuously working on. But honestly. Tom Aspinall has all those things. He maybe can't move as well as, as Cyril Gaon. You know maybe doesn't have the same. The kickboxing ability as Cyril Gaon. But one thing I can, I can say. The boxing is better. On Aspinall. It is easily better. And I think he would give John Jones a much harder fight than Stipe. It's as simple as that. People might not agree. People might not like it. But Stipe is not him. Like, it, it's just a fight to make because of the name. You know what I mean? And I'm not trying to disrespect Stipe, but sometimes you got to call it like it is. You can't look at Stipe... And be like, oh, yeah, man, that's going to be a good fight versus John Jones. Bro, I feel like John Jones is going to take that man to school. And uh, and if I'm wrong, please come back to this and repost it and show probably you was wrong. But Steve Bay is about to get taken to class versus John Jones. And if he does beat John Jones, it would, it would make even better his reign that he has as a heavyweight great. And on top of that, he beat John Jones. But personally, I don't think that's happening. I don't think that's happening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Stipe. I, I can see Stipe getting his his knees cracked by John Jones, just just oblique kicking them, kicking the legs, fighting on the outside, and and just getting worked. You know. But who knows? Again, this is heavyweight MMA fighting, so you you just never know. But all I'm saying is Tom Aspinall is in a, in a bad place now. Him stepping up on short notice put him in a bad place. It really did. Because now you got to wait on John Jones versus Stipe. How long is John Jones going to be out? Right? How long is John Jones going to be out? Stipe, what is it going to take for that fight? When is it going to happen? We know it ain't happening until at least after um, August, right? Because I believe August is UFC 300, and did they not say Connor versus Chandler's for that fight, for that uh, card? And I'm sorry, Connor ain't co maining If Connor loses to Chandler, it may be clear, but this video ain't, the th ain't about that. Man, throwing the one twos. But Tom Aspinall, man, shout out to him. I ain't gonna say against all odds, but a lot of people had him getting smoked by Pavlovich. And he went out there in a minute and nine seconds and put that thing on him. He put that thing on him. Matter of fact, let's try to knock this dude out with a one-two. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. He throwing them things, though. And some people would say, probably you did eight minutes of yapping, nine minutes of yapping. And to those people, I say, 
cállate tu boca, gracias. Rocking with the one, two. Dropping with the two. Nope. Nope. One, two. Dropped him with the two. Uh-oh. One, two. Shwee! <laughs> GG's, gang. GG's, gang. Look at that knockout. Put him to sleep. Cinematic replays. EA Sports. It's in the game. <sighs> hey. GG's to my opponent, though. Good shit to Tom Aspinall. Great fight. I appreciate you guys for watching the video, man. Really do means a lot to me if you made it all the way to the end. Again, much love. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe up. Turn on notifications. Be looking out for another video. I'm going to do an Alex Paul Tom video today. And I may or may not stream. But it's a, it's a, we're looking at about a 65-35 split. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm out, man. Y'all boys stay up. Stay blessed. Keep moving forward. And I love y'all, all right? See you.